From the drinks to the decor to the food and more, we've got your summer entertaining down to a science and sharing some tips for your next get together is YoungMarriedChick.com's Chris Scholes. Thanks for joining us, Chris. Where should we start when it comes to our big summer get together? Well, we should start with drinks because everyone knows how important drinks are to a party. And you want something that's like light, refreshing in this heat, but that's also easy to serve. And that's why Mike's Hard Lemonade is just such a refreshing option for everyone. I think many have tried to copy it, but no one can equal its taste. It's really unique because actually, Mike's uses real lemon juice that gives it that authentic lemonade flavor, but with a kind of a kick. And if you have a lot of people, this is actually a great option because they have tons of different flavors, black cherry, cranberry, a new strawberry lemonade. And then my favorite actually is a summer seasonal pink lemonade. So if you kind of serve it up like in a, in a nice ice bowl like this, then people can kind of just grab it as they're walking in the door. And another one of my summer entertaining tips is to grill outside, which the nice folks at Weber have given us this spirit grill. And I've actually thrown grilled pizzas on it, but my tip is really just to keep it very simple, very easy, create less work kind of for, for the host or hostess, and let your guests do a little bit of the extra work without even knowing it. <laughs> I like that. And Chris, what else do you have for us? I'll give you away all my tips and tricks this morning, but another <laughs> great thing you can do is grill fruit. You can just throw grilled peaches. You can do anything like fruit skewers here with pineapple. And what I love to do as well is set up an ice cream toppings bar. And then you bring the ice cream out basically right before you're ready to serve it because obviously otherwise it would melt. But again, it's kind of creating this very pretty visual and you've got like the bucket of drinks, you've got the ice cream bar. And then the only thing that you're really worried about is the stuff on the grill. And I think it just allows you some time to interact with your guests. That's true, and that way you can actually kind of be at the grill or have somebody else at the grill and be able to meet and greet everybody, right? Exactly. Well, and I feel bad because I feel like I always kind of stick my husband at the grill, but then <laughs> I'm there to kind of, you know, run around and pretend like I'm working when really I'm having you, like, get your own drink and make your own desserts. So they didn't give me away all my secrets this morning, unfortunately, but what can you do? And it's it's too hot outside to have everything be high maintenance, so you just want a really low maintenance, refreshing afternoon on the grill. And Chris, what about some advice on setting the mood as far as music goes if you're doing an outdoor party? You know, I think a great idea is to make a kind of a summer playlist compiled with like maybe all of your guests' favorite music. You can email them beforehand. What's your favorite tune this summer? Oh, it's anything by Justin Bieber. Can I admit that on TV? <laughs> I love you! Chris, thank you. For more information, all you need to do, head to our website.